Now, finally, let's jump into the last topic of the day. And, of course, my favorite topic. This would be college football. Yahoo Sports. Obviously, not a fan of the way that they have gone about things, telling everybody that it's doom and gloom and da 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 But Pete Thamel, Dan Wetzel, incredibly good reporters, love listening to their podcast, etc. I, I enjoy these guys immensely. Pete reports NCAA allows college football season to start one week early. Now, the way that it was set up before, you had to request a waiver from the NCAA in order to play in week zero. That would be August 29th. Right, everything else is set for September the fifth. They are now allowed. It's just a blanket waiver. Nobody has to request this anymore. Everybody can play on August 29th, and I think that it is a smart idea to go ahead and get everybody started early. Again, going back to the Marlins discussion that we were having about Major League Baseball and their scheduling flexibility. If you start a week earlier, you have more flexibility to go ahead and run your schedule. If, you, if you've got guys that test positive, because everybody will, you can schedule out your season that way. You can work things around. You can set teams out for two weeks so that they can quarantine, and you can get in as many games as humanly possible because the way that the schedule is initially constructed is not going to work. Now, I'm still a fan of the conference only, um, Michael said, does this just give CFB more flexibility? Yes, it does. Uh, Oklahoma has already jumped on this. They have scheduled Missouri State for August 29th. Kansas has scheduled Southeast Illinois, or Southern Illinois, or whichever the FCS program is. Excuse me. Uh, they've already scheduled those games for August 29th. Those are already done. Now, you can see LSU scheduling their first game on August 29th. You can see Alabama scheduling BYU on, their, on August 29th. You can see all that kind of stuff, right? You can see a lot of these things that are going to change. The schedules that you have right now for college football teams are not going to happen. It's not going to look like that. We're not getting Alabama and Georgia on September 19th. We are not getting LSU and Texas in week two. I wouldn't believe. But that's the way that this is set up. I, we're going to have to see exactly what happens here. I think you're going to get more conference division games early on, and then you can try and fit in stuff on the back end of the schedule. I think every college football team will be lucky to get 10 games in. I think at the very least, they all want to get eight games. Everybody wants at least eight conference games. And if you started on August 29th, you have the flexibility to be able to do that, even if you've got a ton of guys that have to miss and it just runs off, right? You got a guy that gets an entire offensive line group, COVID. Well, then if you have to quarantine for two weeks, get everybody better and whatnot, you don't have to play that weekend with a bunch of scrubs, right? So it gives you opportunities. It gives you another bye week. It gives you even more time to be able to run in there. And the same thing with the NFL. If they were to start a week early, or actually the NFL is doing it differently, they are pushing back. They can push the Super Bowl back all the way to the end of February. I mean, they've got this thing locked down. The issue with college football is you start to run into the next semester. You start to run into where you're going to have to figure out the academic side of this thing. That gets a little weird. When you got professionals, obviously you can do whatever you need to. Uh, will said bye weeks will save the NFL schedule because if they have to, you can rotate or delay them. Exactly. Just be as flexible as possible and don't get yourself stuck to a calendar. You don't have to do that. Major League Baseball is proving it right now. Michael said, I like uh, I like to see that they're being sensible and not setting unrealistic goals. We just want football. I don't care who plays or when, um, or who plays who or when they play. Just give me something. That's I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. I just want football in any way, shape, or form. That's all I need. Just give me football, and I will be just fine. Nuclear Skull said, Mark Lawrence playbook is blown out of the water. Still useful stats uh, versus the planned conference games if it happens. It's the best book. Yeah. Mark Lawrence's playbook, I got that last season. Uh, we were partnering with my bookie last season, and they sent it to me, and I hadn't been able to find it this year. Uh, so if anybody, <laughs> Michael said Chris might be losing on the NFL attendance bets. Yeah, I think so. It just depends on on what area of the world you're in, right? So what what part of the United States you're in, some are going to allow people in, some are not, is what it is. If, if anybody knows a link to the Mark Lawrence playbook, 
uh, send it my way because I would like to get it. It it was really informative last year. Helped out a lot with spreads and everything else. So I was uh I was appreciative of that. But with that said, all good things must come to an end. And today's show is at that point. It is time for me to get out of here. Tomorrow will be my last one solo without Chris. Thursday he will pop back in here. Hopefully he is uh, relaxed and rejuvenated and rested and all those wonderful things because we are going to have football, folks. I am pumped up for it. Michael said, thanks, Gary. Giggum, absolutely. Thank you to everybody that tuned in today. Massive numbers on the show. I could see it down there. Uh, a lot of new faces. Bring yourself back. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Share the show out. Tell your friends. We would definitely appreciate that. Uh, you help drive the conversation. You guys in the chat have been wonderful, and again, we cannot thank you enough for doing that. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Leave a nice five-star written review over at Apple Podcasts. You guys are great. Uh, Nuclear Skull said, good show. I, uh, I subbed. Thank you. We appreciate that. So it's, it's always nice to meet new people. Bring everybody in. It is, uh, it's a good time. WinningCuresEverything.com is the website. Go make sure you are subscribed at all the different places that you need to be. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast, etc. Share the show out. Tell you buddies. And our college football content will be exclusive over at sportsbookreview.com and sbrpicks.com. Make sure that you go and subscribe to their YouTube channel. It is going to be a good time. We are going to have a ton of content over there. We're still going to do our NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, etc. All of our other sports will be here. College football exclusively over at Sportsbook Review over with SBR. You guys have been fantastic. So take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.